Hey guys, this is the third part of the CNC plasma cutter build. In this part, I go over how I made the water table as well as the slats and show some footage of me painting the table. If you haven't watched the other two parts, they'll be linked in the description below. As always, you can download the CAD files as well as the PDF of the drawings in the description below. So let's get started. To make the water table tray, I bought a sheet of 16 gauge sheet metal cut to the size of the table for one dimension and the other dimension is the width plus the two sides. This way I could easily just score two of the sides and not have to worry about welding a watertight weld. I did pay extra for this sheet because it is larger than 4 feet in both dimensions so I couldn't use the standard 4x8 sheet. Scoring the two sides was pretty straightforward. I just clamped a guide and using a cutting wheel I cut the sheet enough where I could easily bend it. I would then use a pair of adjustable wrenches to bend the metal up to the 90 degree bend. I repeated the same process for the other side. You can see me add a scrap piece of material under. This really helped make the scoring process easier and this second side came out a lot better. Next, I measured the other two sides and cut them to size. I then tacked the side, tacking the corners first and then the middle. I repeated the process for the other side. I then checked to make sure the tray fit in the table. I designed the tray to have a little bit of slop. It just makes it easier to put in and remove. After checking, it looked good. So I tacked the sides. I cut all the way through in a few places on the sides I scored so you can see me welding those sections. I just tacked the sides on and then we'll add some watertight sealant to seal it. I just didn't want to deal with all the warpage that welding would have caused. Here, I'm just deburring the edges as they are kind of sharp. Next, I started on the inside frame. I built the slat frame out of Unistrat as it makes a good way to hold the slats as you'll see in a little bit. I started off on the abrasive chop saw but moved to the band saw later. Here I was checking the dimensions as the tray was slightly smaller than I initially intended it to be. This is where I cut the slots for the slats. I'm using an 8th inch blade with the chop saw and use 8th inch thick slats so they fit in this cut. I don't cut all the way through so the slats sit on the bottom edge of the unistrap. I start off every inch but decided that was too many so I cut every 2 inches. I then started assembling the slat frame. Here, I'm adding the inner frame because when I add the slats, they want to push out, so this keeps them from doing that.
I then checked to make sure the frame fit inside the water tray. After grinding the corners to make room for the wells on the tray, the frame fit perfectly, almost too perfectly. With the frame in the water tray, I welded it up. I'm using a respirator here as the Unistrut is galvanized. I then checked again to make sure everything fit properly. Here you can see how the slots are cut into the unit strut. Next I started cutting the slats. I cut these a small amount longer. This way it would give me the arcing motion I wanted. Here you can see how the slats fit into the cuts in the unit strut. After finding the right length, I cut the rest of them. I then added them to the table. Here you can see the finished table. I made the slats flush and in the direction perpendicular to the gantry. This way you can easily slide material on and off. Next, I started sealing the edges of the water table to make it watertight. I'm just using a sealant I bought from my local hardware store. Here I'm marking the rails as well as the gear rack to remove it for painting, I wanted to make sure that they all went back in the same exact place. I next started disassembling for painting. Before painting, I also added the drain plug for the water table. Here you can see how I go from the water table to a garden hose. After disassembling everything off camera, I had my brother help me paint the parts. And of course, because we were painting, it was windy. In the next video, I'll go over how I wired all the electronics, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.